Hey, this is Learn Algebra Faster, and in this video we are going to discuss the definition of a bar graph. So bar graphs, put simply, are a visual way to easily compare quantities. And these are graphs just like any other graph, and the, really the only purpose that they have are to compare the amounts between different things, different categories, and I'll explain that a little bit um, right now. So bar graphs have three key items that, um, that that really make them special and make them easy to use so the first the first thing about bar graphs is that they are easy to read pretty much when you look at a bar graph there are only a couple of, of key things you need to look at uh, to be able to tell what that graph is actually talking about so they're they're colorful they're big they're um, you know they they have a key they discuss quantities so you can see trends and things like that so they're so they're really easy to read the second thing about bar graphs that make them special are that they are customizable and what that means is that you can easily change a bar graph to describe many different things so you can change the scale you can make them have you know you can make them measure really small quantities you can make them measure huge quantities just by changing the scale uh, bar graphs are good by themselves but bar graphs also have the ability to be doubled and tripled and I can show you an example of that in a minute so bar graphs you can put two bars right beside each other to have even more measurement capability. And then the third thing about bar graphs and really the the reason for this video is that they are pretty easy to make and I'm going to teach you how to do that right now. So first we will discuss first we will um, we will blank this screen. Let's discuss a very specific bar graph, uh, just as an example. So, for one example, this, this bar graph discusses the favorite movie type by grade level. So you can see here that there are several, several different movie types that we are discussing. So we're discussing action movies, documentaries, drama, or sports so those are the four movie types that we're discussing but as I discussed earlier is that uh, this is a cool bar graph in the fact that you see red lines and blue lines so not only are we discussing and comparing the four different types of a movie we're also discussing how those movies are preferred by two different grade levels so we're discussing so this bar graph is cool because you can you can look at the difference in grade level and the difference in movie. So this is what we would call a double bar graph. And you see that because under each category there are two bars side by side. So this bar graph shows that grade 10 students, their favorite is the action movie where 12 students like the action movie and the favorite movie for grade 11 is here so that's a those are sports movies and that's kind of that's that's perfectly in between so that is so 13 students like that so this is just one example of a bar graph um, just to show you how cool they are how easy they are to read um, you know you can look right away and discuss lots of different things about this bar graph you can see you can count the total number of students in each class you can figure out like you can see easily that documentaries are the least are the least favorite in these two classes um, and then you can see the difference in in both grades when it comes to favorite movies so this is just an example of how easy to read and easy to understand bar graphs are so let's discuss let's do another example so 
I, I told you that the, the coolest thing about bar graphs is that they were easy to make. So we'll make one right now. So let's draw our blank axes here. Okay. So as you can tell here, this is the vertical axis because it's going up and down and we're going to put some sort of number here and this is the horizontal axis and this is where we are going to put some sort of category some some way to group everything so let's just let's pick something completely out of thin air and let's discuss uh, let's talk about I don't know hot air balloons Okay, so let's put let's put some numbers to this graph. So let's do two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and fourteen. So this goes to show you that every single little box is one in number. So that's just for that's just for reference okay so let's talk about hot air balloons and then let's talk about let's talk about months of the year so maybe uh, since hot air balloons are an outdoor activity we'll we'll focus we'll focus in the summer and maybe we will do let's do June July and August and let's discuss I don't know how many how many hot air balloons get flown in each one of these months so let's let's say in June maybe only three maybe only three get flown in July maybe it's a really popular month and there are 12 and maybe in August it's not as popular and maybe we only have let's do seven okay so this is this is a bar graph I mean we created it in seconds and basically you can see by just a couple of key things you can see by the vertical axis how many we're talking about by the horizontal axis you can see what categories we are we are measuring everything and then the proper thing for me to do would be to put a title on this graph and let's call it hot air balloon balloons made and then we will say by month so this explains to us this this will show what we're measuring and how we're measuring it and then every graph should have a key and so we will show since since this is a single bar graph it's 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 easier to understand because there's only one color but we'll show that the green color is the number of balloons and there you go so this video explained the definition of a bar graph some key factors of bar graphs and it gave a few examples